Hey guys, I'm Bob and welcome to the Math Mad channel. And today, okay, I'm going to briefly introduce about the linear regression and what do you mean by the least square criterion. So, uh, the idea of linear regression goes like this. Imagine I have uh, collected a sample of data, okay, from the students in the university and I sort of like want to predict um, the GBA score of the student based on the IQ itself and as you can see all these crosses itself uh, are the data that are collected from the students or what we know as the observed data okay so the idea of linear regression is that we want to find a particular model such that it gives a minimum okay sum of squares of error so what do you mean by you know finding a model whatsoever so the idea is that it, there are so many possible models uh, for us to fit fit in to the data itself okay the model could be like you know this and it could be like this and it could be like this so and so forth and the thing about it is that we want to find a particular model such that it gives the minimum sum of squares of error. So finding this minimum sum of squares of error is what we know as the least square criterion. So what do you mean by um, finding the, the minimum sum of squares of error? So let's say for example I have a particular model which is something like this. What I would do is that I'll calculate okay, the vertical distance between the predicted value itself and the observed data. So the points on the on the line itself or the model itself, they are what we call the predicted data. So the thing about it is that what we do is that we will calculate the difference between the predicted data and the observed data. We we'll calculate the vertical distance between the predicted data and the observed data, and we call this E1, where E represents for the error itself. So same thing, we will um, draw a line down from here to here, okay, to this value itself. So that means that for this particular IQ, or this particular value of IQ, Let's say, for example, 120. If let's say my IQ is 120, we will calculate the vertical distance between the observed data and the predicted value, and we call this E2. And we do the same for the rest of the five points. This has been E3, and this is E4, E5, okay, um, E6 and e7 and what we will do is that we will square okay the arrows first that means for example once we calculate the vertical distance between the predicted data and the observed data for a particular value of iq and we will square the okay vertical distance which is my arrow okay in this case and we will do the same for the rest of the arrow itself and of course, as you can see, after that, we will sum it all up, okay, sum all the squares of my errors, errors being the vertical distance between the predicted data and the observed data. So what we are trying to do is that we are trying to, okay, find a particular model such that it gives the minimum sum of squares of errors. So basically, this is the, this basically is the square of error and what you are doing sorry <laughs> squares of error and what we're doing is that we are summing all up so that's what we call the sum of squares of error so basically let, let me just recap the idea of least square criterion is to find a particular model such that it gives the minimum sum of squares of errors errors being the difference between the predicted data and the observed data.